Hi, today's video is going to be about population genetics and in order to solve uh, this problem you need to know Hardy-Weinberg formula and how to apply it and this is not my first video but I believe that uh, the more um, different problems you solve the better you would be prepared for the uh, exam. So here is a problem in a sample of mushrooms from uh, a forest floor Three genotypes controlled by two alleles A and B at one locus show the following numbers in the population. Um, homozygous for A, um, 15, A and B, 80, and BB, 5. Are these numbers what you would expect if population was in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium? And uh, first of all, what is the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium? Uh, that means that population is big enough and uh, the gene pool that consists of different alleles uh, is in the balance. So there is no change in the um, proportions of the different alleles in this gene pool. And there is no genetic drift or migration. So uh, Let's uh, use uh, Hardy-Weinberg formula in order to solve this problem. And by the way, if you know how to apply this formula, I highly recommend you to stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own, and when you would be ready, you can run video again, and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. And first of all, here is a Hardy-Weinberg formula, and here F stands for the frequency of the different genotypes, and we can get three different genotypes with two alleles. So here is a formula P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared equals to 1. And here in this formula P squared stands for the um, genotype that is capital A capital A and 2PQ stands for the heterozygous genotype that is capital A capital B and Q squared stands for the uh, homozygous recessive genotype in our case this is capital B capital B we use uh, all the capital um, letters here because probably this is incomplete dominance so this uh, intermediate genotype uh, would be uh, intermediate uh, between these two so for example if this uh, genotype stands for the color uh, this might be intermediate color between these two so for example if it is white and this black this one would be gray that's why we use uh, all the capital letters here now with the next step we have to find frequencies of these three uh, genotypes here and uh, we given numbers uh, 15, 80 and 5. So in order to find frequency we have to add all these numbers. So 15 plus 80, 95 plus 5 would be 100. So we have 100 individuals and uh, in order to find um, frequency of each genotype we have to divide the uh, number of uh, each genotype by the total number and today's uh, numbers are given on purpose easy so we even don't have to use calculator so when we divide 15 by 100 uh, the answer here would be uh, 0 0.15 and this is frequency of the um, homozygous dominant genotype or just uh, capital A, capital A, so we can list this genotype frequency here, and uh, frequency of the capital A, capital B genotype would be uh, 80 divided by total number of the individuals, and this is going to be 0 0.8 and the last uh, genotype, so here is the frequency 0 0.8 and the last genotype that is capital B capital B 
its frequency would be 5 divided by 100 so frequency would be 0.05 or 5 percent and uh, here frequency would be 80 percent and 15 percent here so let me list this uh, frequency here also and uh, now for the second step we have to find frequency of each allele so here is a second uh, formula all the alleles p plus all the alleles q would should equal to one as long as uh, we have one here so uh, what does it mean that all these alleles that is here those we have three genotypes but actually we have uh, two kind of alleles capital A and capital B and uh, we have a uh, dominant allele or capital A allele uh, in the homozygous form and in, in the heterozygous form as long as we have a capital B allele in the homozygous form and in the heterozygous form so half of this number because we have two alleles here so half of this number here we have to add to this number here and half uh, once again this number here we have to add to this number so uh, once again P stands for the, all the alleles A and Q stands for the, all the alleles B so here we have uh, 0 0.15 and if we divide this number by half, we are going to, to get 0 0.4. So 0 0.4 plus uh, 0 0.15, uh, frequency of the allele P or capital A would be 0 0.55. And we even don't have to count uh, frequency of this allele by adding these numbers uh, just according to this formula. If we know this number, P, we can find Q, we just have to deduct from 1 this number. So the frequency of the allele Q would be 1 minus 0 0.55 and this is, uh, would be easy, this is going to be 0 0.45. So if we add uh, these two numbers, we are going to get 1 as uh, in the above example. So now we know frequency of each allele and now we can go to uh, our last uh, step. We can find frequency of the uh, or expected frequency in the following generation. And if the frequency would be the same as we have here, uh, that means that uh, this population in the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium and uh, if the uh, numbers would be significant, significantly different, that means that uh, this population not in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, for example, because this is too small community or there is genetic drift or there can be a number of different uh, reasons. So uh, according to this formula, if we know, for example, uh, Q here, we can find Q squared. So what we should do, so uh, we just have to find Q squared when we know number Q. So this is going to be 0 0.45. This is going to be this number Q. And we should raise it to or square it. And the answer here would be 20. 25 and as you see this answer is very different from what we have uh, in parental uh, generation here we have a frequency uh, that is 0 0.05 or 5 percent and here we have frequency 20.25 20 or uh, more than 20 percent frequency and uh, let's count uh, the frequency for the uh, heterozygous form here and uh, for the heterozygous 
we would have uh, two PQ. So we have to multiply two by number P that is zero point fifty five and uh, by number Q that is zero point forty five. And the answer here would be forty nine point five. And once again, uh, as you see, this is a very different number uh, from uh, what we had in uh, parental generation here, where we have a frequency of this genotype AB um, that is, uh, so this is AB and this is uh, B, B genotype. So as you see, this is very different. Here we had 0 0.8 or 80%. Here uh, we have 49.5%. Uh, um, so this is going to be frequency of the uh, heterozygous form. And the last um, one would be capital A, capital A. And frequency would be P squared. We know that um, number P is 0 0.55 so this would equal to 0 0.55 squared and the answer here would be 30.25 and once again as you see this is uh, very different from what we had in uh, our parental generation here and uh, these numbers tell us that um, this population uh, is not in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, so the answer would be no here. This population uh, not uh, in the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium because uh, numbers here are very different from uh, expected uh, uh, frequency of the next generation and we always can check our answer if we made a mistake or not uh, when we add uh, all these three numbers we should get one according to our formula as long as when we add all these numbers we also uh, should get one so here we if we add all these numbers and this is uh, zero here not 6. So uh, if we add all these numbers uh, the answer would be 1 and if we add all these three frequencies of uh, the three genotypes here we also should get 1. So that means that uh, our calculations are correct and uh, this is how we check out uh, our answer and uh, this is all for today thank you for attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video goodbye